Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope that you are all good and keeping safe and well. In today's video I'm showing you guys this simple layered stamping design. I'm working on my Glamourless practice hand and I've already slid some tips in that usually act as the nail beds but instead of adding any length today I'm keeping it as a short set and I've already applied my first layer of gel polish so here I'm coming straight in with the second coat. And this particular gel polish is a French white from Kiki London. It's such a beautiful white gel polish and I usually get full coverage in two coats. So once I've applied this second layer, I will pop it into cure in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. If you're using a UV light, it needs a two minute cure, I believe. And obviously, if you were doing this set on yourself, you would do all of your prep first of all and your base coat before applying your gel polish. But for the purpose of the design, I just started with the second coat on this video today. As I said at the start of the video, I'm working on my Glamour Liz practice hand. Now I have the Elsa painted version, but she does have other ones available. You can get different skin tones and then you can choose to get it painted or unpainted. So painted is that a little bit more realistic. However, unpainted is slightly cheaper, I believe. So there's something to suit everyone. And she now also has her poseable practice hands available too, which look absolutely amazing. So do check her out. I will leave her website as always listed in the description box below along with a 10% off code as well. So now I'm just using some alcohol to take off that tacky inhibition layer so that the nails are all ready for my stamping. I'm going to be using this pretty spring plate which is from Born Pretty and as you can see it's a layered design. I haven't played around much with this plate yet so I was really excited to give it a go. I'm going to be using my Nicole Diary stamping polishes with my Beauty Big Bang jelly stamper. The polishes and this stamper at the moment are my absolute favourite to use. And then all I'm doing is stamping down the larger sort of background part of the image and then coming in over the top with the details. Now I didn't really do this video as like a tutorial style because I'm pretty new to layered stamping myself and although I've had the plates and polishes a while I just felt a little bit overwhelmed with design ideas and things to do that I haven't really done anything I've been really happy with or managed to have much of a play around. So I decided I would sit down and just have a play around today and thought I might as well record it for the sake of sharing. Maybe it would give you some inspiration to have a go yourselves. As I was going through doing this set, by the time I got to finger three and four, I kind of sort of picked up things that I thought, hmm, I might do that differently next time. What I think I would have done differently here is stamped the leaves first so that then the flower could overlap them slightly, just so that then they looked more tied into the flower image rather than just plonked at the side. So yeah, it, like I said, it was just a bit of a play around. It weren't a tutorial style video. I only recorded just for the sake of popping them up on my YouTube and hopefully giving some inspiration to others. But I love layered stamping after having a play around and I'm definitely gonna dig out the rest of the plates I ordered and try and do some more designs. I was just pointing out here how you can kind of tell just looking at the plate, which image matches up with which one. So you've got the background and then the detailed layers and this plate's a mix as well you've got some normal stamping images and some layered ones as well so I thought this was a perfect plate if you are new to layered stamping because you have still got your normal images there to use as well so I pretty much stuck with these two flowers which are the same but in different sizes and then I also throw in a butterfly and a different flower on the last two nails just because I wanted to keep it simple and I still wanted all the set to tie together and have that spring vibe to it. I get lots of questions on Instagram on how to do stamping and I feel like it's kind of hard to answer because in all honesty it took me ages to pick up the hang of it and I think a lot of the problem is is some stamps some style stamps work better for others. For ages, I was using those hard stampers. You know, they've got like a green or a pink top. I remember a Conad one and another one from a different brand. But anyway, I was using them and I really struggled to pick up images with them. And then you couldn't see through them to place the image. 
but because I couldn't get the hang of them, it put me off trying the clear ones because I just kept thinking I don't want to waste more money. But then I come across the Born Pretty and the Beauty Big Bang ones and these stampers, they're so reasonably priced. Like I think this one was around two, three pound. I did have to wait a while because it come from AliExpress, but you can pay a little bit more and pick them up from UK suppliers. But this has made stamping for me an absolute dream to do. 90% of the time I can pick up a full crisp image without any problems. So sometimes if you are having trouble with stamping and you've tried lots of different techniques, maybe try a different stamper as it does seem as though lots of people have their preference on which ones work for you them. And it might turn out that a different one works for you. So like I said, it was just a short and sweet video. I hope you guys have enjoyed just watching how I did it and maybe it's give you some ideas for a design or something like that. I was inspired to do this set by binge watching Talia Nowtows, I think her name is, on YouTube. She has some amazing stamping tutorials and stamping videos up on her channel. And I've been binge watching that and it just made me feel like I really wanted to get out the layered stamping plates and give it a go after not trying for a long time. So if you are looking for a good tutorial on layered stamping, I will leave her video linked in the description box below. So check her out. So once I'd finished all of my stamping, I'm now gonna come in with my Kiki London top coat, top coat all of the nails, and then I will pop them in my LED lamp to cure for a further 60 seconds. And then guys, that is the end of the design. As always, I've left a little clip and a picture at the end for you guys to check out. If you enjoyed the video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up or let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you're watching and you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you hit subscribe. I hope that you're all doing well in the current tough situation that we're all facing. Please all keep safe and well and I shall see you all again in the next video. Lots of love. Bye bye.